Witajcie do widzowie w kolejnym odcinku z przygód Szeroka Holmesa. Tym razem jesteśmy właśnie w Instytucie Czarna Szarotka. Potrzebujemy znaleźć teraz lalkę. Więc udamy się do laboratorium. Gdyż tam najprawdopodobniej ta lalka była. A tu jest. An old puppet. Almost as welcoming as Fräulein Muller. <laughs> Nieźle to wygląda ten zameczek taki starodawny. Coś było, a teraz już tego nie ma. Hmm. Zatem musimy to przejść jeszcze raz. An old puppet, almost as welcoming as Fräulein Muller. Look who is here to see you, miss. Heidi! Heidi! You are here! The bad men took you away. But you came back. Heidi told me she wanted to come back to you. She also told me that you know how to free the kind birds from their cage. Bad men took Heidi away. They said I was a bad girl because I cut off the head of that nasty brute. But he started it. He was bad first. He did terrible things, this bad man? Oh, yes. He came in the night for us. He took Heidi and I to his room, near the birds. And he was very, very nasty with me. He had the key to the bird's house and said if I wasn't a good girl, he would send them away. I didn't like that. Because Heidi loves the birds. So, my child, the key to the birdhouse is upstairs in his room? Yes, it's there. Now the lady lives there, but I am not allowed to see the birds anymore. Thank you very much. What is that, Heidi? Oh, you want to thank the gentleman. And you have a present for him. What a sweet girl you are. Oh, I agree. Heidi wants to thank you and says to tell you her secret. When I cut the bad man's head, she didn't want him to ever come back. So she hid the key in her belly. We are in your debt, young lady, and our humble thanks to you, Heidi. Heidi, child of the mountains. Ura! Hmm. 
Dobrze, zatem dostaliśmy kluczyk Do klatki na ptaki <śmiech> Tak więc hmm. Pójdziemy sobie zobaczyć się z ptaszkami się tam szło. Tędy? Inaczej się szło. Fraulein Muller does not seem particularly gifted. Truly, art in the blood can take the strangest forms. Macrame, a healthy occupation for modern women by Calipigi Mubala Smith Papadopoulos. And look at this, it is a signed edition. This splendid macrame design is protecting the bottle. This must be the key to the aviary. Nie wydaje mi się, żeby coś tu jeszcze było. A lovely piece. I must say it's the highlight of this exhibition, but I dare say it shall prove useful. The birds have escaped. Quick, catch them. Catch them. Thanks to the panic, all the nurses will be elsewhere, as Bao would say. <laughs> <laughs> While the guards are busy trying to catch the birds, I should use the opportunity to search the rest of the asylum. Oh, <laughs> 
Style Camera. Dai, te It is necessary to get this dragon to leave so I can freely examine the kitchen. Perhaps if I can create smoke, she will go into a panic and leave, thinking there is a fire. <laughs> Following the unintentional fire caused by uninspired staff members, I made the decision to forbid access to the kitchen and dining room to all staff other than Frau Meyer and myself. No. Co by tu zrobić? A scale. This won't be of any use to me. Their laboratory seems to have all the usual equipment. If need be, I can use this. Here now. I must take care to measure the precise dose. The ratio of chlorine to water must be precise, as too much will be dangerous. A scale. This. And there, it is done. A scale. Now I know the exact capacity of the bottle. Świetnie. Gdybyś jeszcze nami podzielił, jaka to jest pojemność? Hmm, co by tu jeszcze zrobić?
No to ja sobie nie wątpię do 600. Wyglądałoby bynajmniej ładniej. O, dzień dobry. Faja? Ojej, to faja. A truss for roast beef. Coś jeszcze porabimy w kuchni? Czy to już wszystko? Według mnie raczej wszystko. Szafki się nie otwierają, więc nie mamy czego tam szukać. Czy mi jeszcze cofnę na latarstwo? Jeszcze się trochę przespacerujemy. Do towarzysza Beckera. The attendant is gone. Ah, I'm very glad. But you are not an attendant? No, my good man, I am not. I arrived from London to investigate private charges of embezzlement against this establishment. You came all the way from London. Why would anyone choose to come to this godforsaken place? Indeed, I have just arrived from London and my reasons will soon be clear. Listen to me, I know you do not belong here. You are not mad, merely the victim of a trap that only the most expert specialists could untangle. More importantly, you are the only person here who can give me the information I require. If you could speak with me, assuming your pain has not returned, I would be in your debt. But, who are you? Someone who could guarantee your freedom once my objectives are secured. But I have little time, and you must listen to me carefully. Did you hear the staff or other inmates speak on any suspicious activities other than the horrible mistreatment you have all suffered at the hands of the staff? You are from English customs, then? You must be interested in the arrival of illegal foreign lunatics in your country. What makes you say this? Well, some time ago, they removed all the foreigners from their cells and they were never seen or heard from again. Perhaps they were shipped into your country without the usual formalities? Those foreigners, where did they come from? I don't know exactly, because oddly, they never associated with the rest of the inmates. They arrived regularly, one or two fellows per month. Most peculiar. Did they speak among themselves? I could hear them trying to talk to one another, but... 
It seemed as if they couldn't understand each other. As if each spoke a different dialect. Also, none of them seemed mad in the least. And then, there was one other odd event. They were downstairs, and it was shortly before their departure. I strained to hear them, and could barely make out their conversation. This time, they all seemed to speak the same language. And what is even stranger, they seemed to be saying the same thing repeatedly. You must rest now, but don't lose hope, as I am here to help. I am afraid I must leave you now. If you need to know other information, you can see me when you like. Dobrze, a zatem działo się coś dziwnego. A, co tak naprawdę stało się z ludźmi, którzy schodzili po schodach i, wypo i wypowiadali co chwila te same słowa? Dowiemy się już w kolejnym odcinku. Dziękuję za uwagę.